you figured out what we're talking about. We're talking in blood. How much of it do you give? Do you only do it when you're called to do it? What do you think you're losing when you do it? We have a conversation on that. In the studio, Stephen Adaipa, who is a PRO for the National Blood Service. I've also got a blood ambassador, a brand ambassador, National Blood Service, Mami Kwaba Stevens. Good morning to you, boss. Good morning. You've been doing this for a couple of years now. Yes. How's it going? Um, interesting, challenging, okay. mm -hmm. but um, we're hoping every year we get better and hopefully the awareness catches on so mm -hmm. that we have more people donating blood. Okay, great. So this March is a blood donation month. That's how you've themed it, correct? Yes and no. Okay. okay. Um, yes and no. Well, it started about a couple of years ago. Um, it was a birthday campaign um, to encourage people to donate blood. My birthday is March. Actually, today is my birthday. Mm. So. Oh, today's uh, your birthday. Yeah, it's coincidence. Oh, <laughs> shall we sing happy birthday? Oh, that's okay. Thank you. <laughs> so the idea was uh, March for the month of March and March like we're walking. So basically, I mean, let's march. Let's march to save lives. Let's march because blood connects us all. Let's march to generate awareness mm. about the need to get blood to okay. save lives. Okay. And coincidentally, I mean, March is you know Ghana's month. So why not? I mean, um, we're Ghanaians. Let be, let's be patriotic and um, support each other and be mm. there for each other. Mm. So it's. All okay, Stephen, tell us about the blood bank. Uh, what, how much blood do you have? What do you need on a daily or weekly, monthly basis? Mm. Um, the National Blood Service, you know, we, we supply blood to um, most of the hospitals and clinics around us. We have uh, three zones in the country. We have the central zone, the southern zone, and then the, the northern zone. And so for Accra and its environs, we, we take care of the southern zone. And um, about... 250 units of blood is issued at the day to all these uh, clinics and hospitals around us in this uh, southern zone. And, but as, as I speak with you, um, we've never you know, met this, uh, how do you call it, demand from okay. uh, 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 hospitals and clinics, mm. uh, simply because the donation is not coming in as we, we expected. And so um, we, we keep on creating the awareness to make sure that people understand, you know, voluntary blood donation, which is uh, uh, the very key thing that we need to save lives, you know, in this country. Um, a lot of people depend on blood transfusion mm -hmm. for, for um, survival. And so if there is no Especially blood... Especially in emergencies. We've been talking mm -hmm. about arrival life because of all the mm -hmm. many accidents and when accidents happen. Definitely so. Yeah. And so we want to encourage the, uh, the, the Ghanaian public mm. that blood donation is very, very important. And so anytime you hear of blood donation, just make sure that you, you, you take part in it. It is safe for you as the donor and also for, 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 for the recipient of the blood. And um, much, much is one of these uh, opportunities that we've created mm. so that people will come in and then uh, voluntarily donate blood to save life. So much, much yeah. awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you discovered as the issue still with people? Why they don't want to voluntarily do it? Um, I think it's a couple of things. One is awareness. And a lot more people, honestly, would have given blood if they knew the situation, mm. that the blood bank needed more blood. And some people think that, you know, I've given once and I've given a lifetime. And they don't realize that we need them again and again because, you know, blood expires about every 35 days. So every day we need somebody to keep giving so that we have blood um, available. Um, some of them are also superstition, you know, and um, you know, being in Ghana, some of the rumors we keep hearing, and also fear, fear of the needle, fear of unknown, and all that. So those mm. are some of the reasons. And so March March is a, like I said, an awareness campaign. And like Stephen mentioned, yes, there will be blood donation on top of the hill. But what we try to encourage people to do is that not everybody can give blood, but everyone can support the cause. So if for whatever reason you can't give blood, just come and walk. Um, take pictures, share on your social media, let people ask the questions. Mm. And that kind of starts a conversation because, you know, blood is not necessarily the most exciting thing to talk about. So this creates that platform to make it very safe and exciting to talk about blood in okay. a very fun way. Yeah. So you, you, you've actually gone into Saturday because this is happening, the match match. Yes, yeah, Saturday. This is the match that you're talking about. Yes, exactly. Okay. Saturday. Yeah. Um, what time, where are we converging? What's going to happen? Yeah, so um, it starts at 5.30. We're going to start with aerobics at mm. Ayi Mensa Police Station. Okay. And then we're going to walk up the hill to Pediasi GHS, which is behind Pediasi um, Lodge. And when we get there, it's going to be blood donation activities and also a lot of fun. There's something for everybody. Mm. So um, we're all going to walk up there and it's tons, tons of fun. 
Okay. Like I said, it's just to create awareness and mm -hmm. just get everybody involved so that, I mean, at the end of the year, when the numbers come, you can actually say that this is how I contributed to whether I sponsored or, you know, I encouraged somebody else to give mm -hmm. or I told somebody else about it. Yeah. Are we are we getting a lot more pe people volunteering over the years, over the period, as you've been brand ambassador? Are you seeing change as in positive change? Yeah, some change, but we could we could see more. Mm -hmm. And uh, and like I'm saying, I think it's also just making people aware that you know once you start because you can donate every four months. So once you start, mm -hmm. yes, once you start, keep keep giving. And the good thing is that it's also good for you because a lot of times you think so much about the donor. That I mean, sorry, the, pres the, recipient, the recipient, exactly, the patient. But you, the donor, I mean, it reduces your risk of some diseases. It, you know, um, it's a good health screening for you because mm -hmm. they screen you before you donate the blood, and um, and you get to know your blood group, which is also very important. Yeah. But recently, there was an emergency, and um, a colleague, the person didn't know the, her blood group, and um, it would have helped if she did. So yeah. there are lots of. Um, benefits for you, the donor, and that's what we are trying to mm. also encourage. Okay. But we're just hoping that a lot more people give because shop. we still haven't received, we still haven't achieved our targets. Okay. Yes. So Stephen, explain mm. what happens. Uh, so I come in and I donate blood, uh, and then what? Yeah, it's a very simple, um, you know, process. Uh, we first, you know, check your, 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 your weight. If you're qualified as you should be 50 kg and above. And then we also check your blood level to see if you have enough blood in you. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have enough blood, you can't donate. So the excess blood in you, that is what we take. So we also take you through um, other check, like I said, to check your blood level. If you qualify, then you go through the, the donation process. It takes just about 10 to 15 minutes for you to finish. Mm -hmm. And so we want to encourage as many as, you know, people as possible to take part in this exercise. Okay. Um, like we're saying, it's not just about blood donation, but also for you to come and then learn about, you know, um, what is involved in blood mm. donation. So mm. we have our qualified staff, you know, from 37, um, you know, National Blood Service. We are there, you know, to support anyone. Do you, do you sell the blood? Not at all. We don't. We, we call something a processing fee. The processing fee is just to make sure that the blood service, you know, sustains its uh, operations and um, the blood bags and the, the equipment you know the reagents that we use to collect the blood and the storage and all that they incur, we incur cost on that and so that is the cost we transfer to the the recipient of the blood it's not the donor who pays you know um, that fee okay so, so that's not equivalent equivalent to i am buying the blood or not at all blood not at me, all even though they keep asking for us to yeah. uh, volunteer and go and donate yeah. blood yeah yeah so we, we need the government to come in and help take care of some of that cost so that even as a donor it becomes cheaper for you even if you have to pay that processing fee so if yeah. i if i donate mm -hmm. and i need blood sometime in the future what happens is uh would i be an exceptional case I have visited your place and donated before. Would, would, would there be some preference? Provided the blood is available, why not? But the point is that blood is not available. And so you may think that, you know, 100 people or 200 people, you know, have donated today. And so there should be blood. Anytime you come, you know, you have to assess it. It is not like that. Like she said, blood expires within 35 days. And so, but we don't even have the luxury of allowing the blood to sit mm -hmm. there that 35 days and so when when you donate blood so that the, the the blood donor what we do for you is that sometimes we don't want you to go through the stress you know of um, bringing people in to donate blood for you when there's an emergency and so when the blood is available we exempt you we make sure that we give you the blood but the person who is not a donor we insist that you bring people to come and donate for you that's what we call the family replacement system and it looks like Ghanaians are a bit comfortable with that situation, but we think that that is not the best. And so we want to encourage voluntary blood donation, which is, uh, you know, the safest. Mm -hmm. But then uh, just to add to what Stephen was saying, sometimes even if the blood is available, your blood type might not be available because there are different blood groups. And so, for instance, like O negative, they can give to everyone, but when they need blood, they can only take from O negative. Um, they can only take O negative blood. Mm. So you can see the blood there, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the blood is meant for you. And that's why mm. a, lot of I, a lot of us have to keep giving blood because we keep seeing that you have somebody's blood type. Mm. But, I mean, the good news is that slowly, slowly, back to your question, I think the awareness is increasing, honestly. Um, I see more blood donations. I see more um, campaigns. I see 
um, more organizations and stuff wanting to donate blood. And I think that's definitely been positive um, mm. since I became an ambassador in, in the past couple of years. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks to you, our media partners, I think you're definitely. doing a great job. Definitely. Mm. We want to encourage that relationship so that uh, uh, the awareness will get into the Good. people. So 5.30 on Saturday, mm. what should I eat? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, oh, um, what do you usually eat anyway? But then, thanks to our very generous sponsors, when you come up the hill at the Diase, there, um, there are lots to uh, nibble on and drink and you know, energize you once you finish walking. Mm. But in the morning, what do you usually take for breakfast? Okay. And for the donors, actually, there's provision for them to eat properly before they donate blood because you have to eat before you donate blood. And so, we've made provision for that. So, um, just come and you can walk rest and then donate blood okay yes and even if you don't want to walk you can just come up the hill and just donate blood it, and so people can just drive up i mean just be part of it that's all and we've also really involved the community that's mm. the guitar say pediasi jankama every area um to also come and be part of this it's, it's about us you know absolutely um, yeah much much awareness yeah. okay much, much. and happy happy birthday to you oh, thank you uh is there anything happening um, Today, because it's your birthday, oh, apart from talking blood, we're celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> we're celebrating um, Ghana. We're celebrating um, our uniqueness, and I think um, on this day we should all just ask ourselves: What are we doing to encourage people or support the blood bank? Um, the sad news is that none of the ECOWAS countries has actually achieved 100% voluntary. Mm. And voluntary is when you go voluntarily to give blood. And um, why not? Ghana can be the first to do that. So. Yeah. Um, with everybody's help, and like Steven said, the media plays a huge role. You said the agenda. So opportunities like this really mm. helps us, you know, um, relay the message to the Great, Indians. great. Yeah. All right, so... The birthday party will be up the hill, so... Uh, okay. yeah, I thought you were going to say the blood bank. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. blood service. <laughs> 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 up the hill, yes. But thank you very the much party, uh, for coming through. And, thank of you. course, it has to be part of us. It's mm. not... Uh, it shouldn't just be because your family member is not well mm. and they need blood. So you now assemble all your family members to mm -hmm. do it but you can actually make it a part of your life mm -hmm. as well uh, so meet us up on saturday let's walk up let's donate some blood and let's party and let's party i like that yeah. <laughs> uh, stay with us we've got uh, one more conversation coming up before we bring you show business we're talking about the sales apps sales leadership stay with us